Ever since I started fooling around with uh, using Reason to control in my analog gear, I've discovered that there aren't a lot of interfaces out there to that allow you to do this. So hats off to the guys at Mark of the Unicorn and the Volta development team because this is really cool for guys who love both software and hardware. I made an interface box here which takes uh, quarter inch audio signals which are coming off my Mo2 896HD and converts them to Roland DIN sync which I'm then going to connect to my little friend here the TB303. One handles the clock pulses, the other handles the start stop. So my Reason song file has, has two parts. There is the combinator which generates the DIN sync being sent to the 303 and then I have the uh, drum loops here. And then outside of the box I have my 303 connected into a Moberfoger ring modulator and then from the uh, ring modulator it goes into the Pod X3 for a bit of uh, distortion and some effects. Alright, so the, the clock pulses are generated by the Thor step sequencer. I've set the rate to a sixteenth triplet and then set the duration to a quarter. And that would give you basically 96 pulses per measure. And then the start and stop CV signal are generated by this matrix pattern sequencer. And I have that routed into the Thor to trigger it. And those are routing out into my hardware interface. You can see 24 ppq and then the start stop CV. And then when I run the sequence, So here's a quick look at how I've got this set up. I've got the matrix um, curve CVs connected into the Thor modulation input 2. And on the modulation matrix I have CV2 being redirected to audio out 4. That's sending the uh, start stop signal to the 303. And then it's also going to the step sequencer trigger. So that engages and disengages the step sequencer which is sending the clock pulses. So when I run this start at the beginning. Now one of the interesting side effects of this is that you can force a stop start at any point within a measure. 